हेलो फोमर्स दिस इज दिव्यश्वरिया वेलकम बैक टू डी डी फ्लूड्स दिस इज अवर थर्ड ओपन फॉर्म सिमुलेशन इन अवर प्रीवियस टू ओपन फॉर्म सिमुलेशन वी हैव सिमुलेटेड लिड्रीवन कैविटी केस एंड पिट्स डेली केस इन हियर वी विल सिमुलेट अ एल्बो सो लेट अस बिगिन so our outline is pretty much same some basic linux command we will see then some important open form locations then open form case structure then we will run the simulation and mesh and at the end we will visualize the results in the para view but here the approach will be slightly different so we will see during our simulation so the first thing is problem statement so here as you can see we have a uh, elbow uh, geometry in the right hand side which has two inlets at the left side and from the bottom smaller this pipe and we have just one outlet at the top face the velocity of inlet are 1 uh, meter from left hand side and 3 uh, meter per second from the bottom face the outlet is open to the at atmosphere then we will see how to import mesh from ansys and uh, here we are going to use unstructured mesh pro uh, created by ansys software so the first thing is open form locations home tutorials where our uh, elbow cases exist we will copy that elbow case to the run folder the same way we have done in the previous two tutorials we will do the same but here i am going to use wsl for that let me open the wsl so this is my terminal here let me first type uh, cd space dollar home underscore run that will take me to the run folder now the next step is copying the files for that let me type cp space hyphen r this will copy the file or folder now from where we want to copy the file so from tutorials folder for that i will type dollar home underscore tutorials then i will go into the incompressible folder from there i will go into the ico form and there our elbow case is available now where i want to copy so that will be in my run folder currently i am in my run folder so that's why i am just uh, putting a dot after space and hit enter so that will copy the elbow case into the run folder let me type ls to verify so from previous case we have cavity pits daily and now elbow case okay let me go into the elbow and here let me type ls so the folder structure is slightly uh, same but some extra files are available for example zero constant and system folders are already there but elbow.mesh file all run and all clean files are additional files that we will see so first the folder structure in the zero folder we have initial and boundary conditions in the constant we have uh, mesh data physical properties turbulence parameters and all in the system folder all executable dictionaries are available to check the simulation to run the simulation we need to check this few things discretization so in the discretization we have already modeled the problem we know all the parameters and uh, 
the geometry we have decided this geometry and mesh we already have the file from the ANSYS so the file you saw in the terminal with albo.mesh this file contains all the geometry and mesh data so that's our mesh file the next thing we have here is uh, set up the case so you can go into this uh, zero folder constant folder and you can check the physical and turbulence parameters with boundary conditions the third thing you can check is uh, schemes and solver parameters this all files you can check and uh, for the inbuilt functions you can go into the control dict file so if you have followed my previous tutorials you know how to open all these files from this case if you haven't you go to that uh, tutorial and first practice that okay now let me go into the running part so here we are going to use this all run uh, script this all run script contains all the parameters that we give all the commands that we give in our terminal so let me first open my terminal and show you so here as you can see all run file is there let me open it in my notepad so notepad.exe then all run and from here as you can see some header then run application this application will run fluent mesh to foam and which fluent mesh so albo.msh file that we want to convert from fluent mesh to open foam mesh so this command first we, it will run then from control dict file it will take the application which is our solver icofoam and it will start running the simulation then there are some couple of uh, additional data which is foam mesh to fluent which will convert our open foam mesh to fluent mesh and then foam data to fluent data which means after running these two commands we can open our simulation uh, open foam simulation into the fluent software as well so let me close this for now and uh, i will to run this script all run script what i can do is i can simply type dot slash all run and enter so as you can see it is running fluent mesh to foam first into this folder then ico foam then foam mesh to fluent and foam data to fluent after running all these commands it shows that it is successfully uh, simulated now let me create a dummy file as we have created from the last previous uh, tutorial for that i will type touch then dummy dot foam and enter now this dummy folder dummy file we have created to open this case what i will do is i will type explorer dot exe then dot that will open my Wind, uh, explorer windows explorer from here i can click on this elbow dot uh, dummy dot foam file and that will open my entire case files into the paraview application from the left hand side i can click on apply and it will uh, show me the elbow uh, geometry from here this representation i will click on this uh, solid color from this uh, surface i will go into the surface with edges and as you can see a uh, unstructured mesh is created in fluent and it is already in our open foam file okay now 
from this surface with edges let me click on surface from this solid color i can click on this velocity and as you can see some velocity is here and some velocity is from here because these two are our inlet with different velocities let me go to the last frame or i can run the uh, play the animation for that i'll click on this and as you can see how flow is uh, merging at this point so this is our final uh, result for more colorful representation you can change uh, this legend colors you can modify you can create the streamlines that we have seen in the previous two tutorials so that is all for today you can create this type of uh, streamline plots and you can put in your uh, research paper or conference paper or your thesis so that's all for today if you have any particular case in your mind i can create an open form tutorial and publish on my youtube channel for that you can comment uh, your topic in the comment box if you are facing any trouble in any of these three tutorial please let me know i would like to resolve them if you are looking for open form uh, materials you can join my telegram channel dd fluids you can subscribe me on this youtube channel or you can connect me through this linkedin and twitter profile with this stay healthy stay fit see you in the next tutorial